Well, that's the approximate position of the um, exhaust system. It's just put it there so I can try and work out where that diagonal in that square should be. Yeah, I think maybe, actually, this top left corner to that bottom right corner is probably going to be the better way to go rather than going up to the top. Uh, that would actually go along longer and provide more support to this corner as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a round tube this time because it will be easier to get into the, into the corners and I won't have to do um, these diagonal sections like I did here. So it should make fabrication a bit easier and this, um, this smaller tube should be a bit stiffer than the square anyway. I'm going to put it in here which is the opposite way that I originally designed on the CAD um, purely because it's going to get closer to the exhaust. Uh, and it will support this bottom right hand corner as well. So that's going to go in today and then I'm going to continue with the rest of the front end. Um, you can see here I've started to build the front of the frame and um, this is how far we've got. We've got the diagonal in at the back there next to the engine. These are yet to be welded in but this front is welded in. So I'm going to start building this um, front end first and then graft it on after because it's going to be easier to manipulate it and move it around and to get into the hard to reach places when it's just a small piece of block or whatever. So um, yeah, going to continue now with the build. Now I can sort of see the vision coming together. I'm getting more and more excited as I go. And I'm making progress with the front cradle. So I've got to put these two bits on today. There, I've got to create, cut another 570mm long piece here for the top. And that will form the um, connection for the upper wishbones. Um, these will have to be welded on as well at some point. But yeah. That's going to sit on there eventually and the steering rack will be behind here. All these points are pretty much fully welded. I've got some fabrication work to do on these pointy front ends here. I've got a fully welded in this corner. But the cradle is coming along, you can see. Right, so this front end here is now fully on. And so the next task is to graft on the front end cradle that I've built. But first of all, I need to tidy up these corners and then we can start pulling in pieces as per my 3D model um, to actually attach this cradle on. So both of those end caps are in. You can see that we're getting tantalizingly close to actually grafting this front end on here. It's just being held here by a welding clamp at the moment, but it gives you an idea of what this is going to look like soon. Um, so this is here held on by a welding clamp. Obviously we need to build the structure around here to connect to these end caps that we've got on the two by twos. Uh, this won't quite go into place because I need to do a cutout in the bottom left hand corner here to make space for this member that we've added. That won't be too much trouble I hope, I just need to try and make it clean. Um, but yeah, if I, if I hold up the steering rack, which needs to be 65mm back from here, then um, you know it means it's roughly going to be somewhere around here. So you can start to see that this front end is really coming together now. I probably have to blank off this hole where the steering rack was going off uh, in originally and move it across to the other side. That's actually a good thing because it means it's going to clear my accelerator and brake pedal um, nicely. So actually that's not going to be too much of an issue. So 
um, the support structure in here and then also um, weld it on and then we're done ish.